Hello and welcome back to the Cock Dice. In this week's conversion video, I'm tackling the Rift Stalkers chapter of Space Marines. These are another recent ish founding. That's a recent ish, they're also a founding. Uh, so they're really recent. So, uh, Raven Guard successor, uh, stealthy, sneaky. I'm going to try and capture some of that on the model tonight. I'm going to be using an Assault Intercessor rather than one of the Phobos Marines because um, obviously they're going to have to have the kind of normal Intercessor types as well. We're going to try and tech him up a little bit, but also lighten him up. So I'm going to use some Phobos shoulder pads. Really like these. They've got a really cool, kind of unique shape to them. I'm going to use some of the Phobos weaponry as well. So we're going to go with a kind of carbine style bolt rifle. I'm going to swap out um, the ammo clip for uh, auto bolt rifle ammo clip, and then we'll drop it onto a super hand, which is this hand flamer hand here. What I really wanted to do was represent their kind of lineage a little bit. So Instead of a power fist, this guy's going to get some sort of lightning claw. I know, strictly speaking, you can't have lightning claws on a squad sergeant, um, but it can be a power claw and, and used as a power fist. And then for the rest of it, I've just grabbed a load of bits, mainly from various Phobos kits. Um, we're going to add these extra aerials, scanners to his shoulder, his shoulder and his backpack, that sort of stuff, uh, but all built on top of a standard um, intercessor-style marine. Your first job really tonight is going to be getting this marine's body stuck together and on a base. So whilst he dries off, we're going to get on with the rest of the model now. I think we'll start with some sort of lightning claw hand, and this is a bit where I'm really worried that this goes wrong. The other hand's easy comparison to this one. So, I don't know where I got this idea from. I was messing around the other day and had this idea to do a kind of clawed hand. And I was going to grab some of the Raptor lightning claws um, and then I forgot my bits order came in and wasn't didn't have them in there. So I'm using this one, which I think is from a Vanguard Veterans kit. Uh, I'm just going to trim these power cables back a little bit um, underneath the Space Marine Power Fist and, and keep the kind of clean, loyalist look whilst uh, giving them wicked claws. I thought the Rift Stalkers, it kind of just, the, the name to me just kind of yelled we want to do something a bit funky with them. Uh, they want something slightly monstrous about them. So I'm just trimming the fingers off there, as you can see. Uh, fired off over to the other side of my desk and just clean up the area where we've taken them off. You're not going to see this at all, so it doesn't really matter. So I've taken it under the, the outer fist and then this inner this must be the kind of knuckle guard here and we'll just take it there and then we're going to take it very di slightly diagonally in across this all the way down to so just trim it down slightly in because we want the fingers to curl inwards ever so slightly here anyway we want to take them straight across here and we've got a slight curve to cut round so we're going to have to almost take them off individually um, otherwise we risk damaging them so I'm just going to follow the curve round with a nice sharp knife and cut through each of these claws. A top claw, a second claw, a middle claw, a bottom claw there, I think, in that order. Let's have all four on. Let's, let's what the heck, let's keep them a bit more standardised. So, looking at this, I'm going to just trim this back a little bit more. Keep it as, as level as possible. Like so. And a dab of glue here, and then we'll have a first pass at sticking them on. I'm quite impressed by that. I managed to put them back in the right order on the hand and they'll broadly stick in the right direction. Now if you want to change some of the angles of these, you can either change the angle that you cut the power fist at or you can pull them off again and just trim tiny little slithers off if you want to bring their fingers in a little bit. For my purposes, that is more than enough. We're going to pop that to one side and let it dry off now. And while we're waiting for that, we shall get on with his other hand. So. We want the carbine, we don't want the ammo clip, and we don't need the hand. So I'll take the half Phobos hand off, first of all. Next the ammo clip, we're going to pop this one on instead. Now I've done this before. Should we have quite a low one? Oh no, I need to take it all the way up there, don't I? I remember this from last time. So we don't need this little top bit here, so we're going to trip that off first of all. And then we're going to cover over the actual ammo clip here, so we're going to cut the ammo 
click with the hand in it right the way back up to follow the same line that the hand came off a moment ago right the way up to the um, front grip there take that off we can now stick this alternate clip over that that looks about right for me and then obviously we need to stick it to a different hand we're going to use this hand flamer hand because it's at quite a nice sticky out angle it will work well on the body I've picked so we're just going to cut this straight across the top here and here and there's absolutely no reason I am ever 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 going to give a hand flamer to an assault intercessor sergeant so it's now time to start assembling his gun arm so a little bit of glue on the hand it is the bullet side stuck onto it so we've got something to work with no, in fact sensibly stick the clip on first I don't know where his hand needs to go oh a whole night of doing the wrong everything in the wrong order just make sure it lines up with the hand nicely don't twist it while you're trying to look at the camera so now the body's had a bit of time to dry we're going to do a little bit of work on his chest next I want to emulate some of the Phobos look so the first thing I'm going to do is take my knife and I'm going to strim off his chest eagle just take it in thin layers up towards the uh, neck collar uh, making sure you don't hit it too hard and don't leave it covered in bumps and scratches so now that's all cleaned up we're going to pimp up this chest a little bit the next thing I'm going to do as well I'm going to remove these shoulder pegs because I don't need them on this model uh, I've swapped his arms so an easy build uh, one from Indominus or one of the starter sets or probably one of my leftovers from Indominus I've got loads of them a bit of glue on the chest and we're going to add these uh, ammo uh, grenade packs from um, the Reavers kit perhaps just like so into his chest try and bring a little bit of that uh, Phobos vibe into this armour uh, you can get stuff like this from either the, you know, the Reavers um, there's loads in Death Watch as well hasn't it Death Watch have loads of cool chest bits is it grenades and packs I don't know I might have to go and have a look at me bits box again I've probably got some other ones in there as well so anyway, that's looking pretty awesome now and um, we'll start to pimp this marine out a little bit more in fact I'm gonna add his arms now because they've probably dried off enough give him a head I'm going with uh, an incursor head or an infiltrator head I don't know it's one of these ones from whichever the set is that's um, easy to build uh, that came with this, uh, not the starter set the start collecting kind of ones I think they're infiltrators aren't they again I haven't played 40k in so long I'm starting to really miss it looking forward to gaming opening up again soon uh, probably in fact by the time this comes out we may well be playing 40k again that would be quite cool so as he's coming up we're going to bulk, start bulking his shoulders up we'll get those cool Phobos pads on there you go, as you can see we've got a kind of a slightly stripped down look to this guy um, just gives it a different uh, slightly different aesthetic and that's that's the great thing about uh, Marines especially the Mark 10 armour um, it all kind of works together and with a few changes you can get a really really unique look for your models and it, you know these things are not expensive you can grab them off eBay for pennies oh, 50p maybe each might be more expensive than I think uh, wouldn't know don't cost these things up generally maybe I should do you care how much these conversions cost is anyone, is anyone interested in that something I could do I could kind of price up each conversion and tell you at the end of it or beginning of it what it cost me so I think he's coming together pretty well we're going to add some more aerials to him to represent the spec ops nature of him so we can either add, in fact, do we add a, a shoulder mounted? Oh, is that going to fit? I'm not sure that's actually going to fit on this pad, shoulder pad particularly well. Probably work on that side, maybe on that side. Or do we just go with some aerials? The aerial seems like a bit of a cop out. So I think we'll go with the, uh, the cool scanner from. This is from the Incursors, isn't it? I don't know, the ones I never use. 
because I don't know, I like infiltrators and, um, and their anti deep strike shenanigans. So, because this is supposed to be fitted into a shoulder, uh, into a backpack, you have to do a bit of surgery. I'm going to trim around this first of all. So, next thing we need to do is we're going to pin this onto his backpack. So, he's going to need a knife, find the center of the bit we're going to drill into, and just give your knife a little twist. Start the hole off. It's a lot easier to do that than it is to just go ahead and try and drill in the center. So just drill up and I want to drill right through the post and into the backpack. And I'm hoping this drill bit is thin enough to fit through there. Just get your drill and run a little hole into there. So I'll start an angle and I'll straighten it up as I go in. And then grab yourself the most cunning of hobby equipment, a paperclip. And we'll stick that in there. And a bit that's sticking out the top, we'll just trim. I don't know how much off, not a huge amount. Oh, this one's all the way in first. Like that. And I'll just get that super glued in now. And I think for tonight's conversion, that will do nicely. There we go, one Rift Stalker. Space Marine, ready for Stealth Ops. Somewhere behind your enemy lines in his gleaming white armour. Which, if you hang around for a moment or two, you can see all painted up and finished for you. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care and we'll see you next time.